As we move towards renewable sources and away from fossil fuels, we must address the challenge of energy storage because the world is in the midst of an energy transition. One possible solution is known as the supercapacitor. Researchers hope to create supercapacitors that will also offer superior rapid charging capabilities that can store comparable energy to batteries. But what are supercapacitors? They are electrochemical energy storage devices that store and release energy by reversible adsorption and desorption of ions at the interfaces between electrodes materials and electrolytes. These supercharged energy storages have a couple of advantages, much like batteries. There's a significantly longer lifespan in comparison to other energy storage solutions. Typically, batteries can handle between 2,000 and 3,000 charge and discharge cycles, whereas resulting in a major reduction of materials and costs, supercapacitors can handle more than 1 million rapid charges. However, supercapacitors cannot compete with the battery's far superior energy storage capabilities despite their charge-discharge advantage, but this could soon change all thanks to a new graphene derivative being developed by the EU-funded UP2D Chem Project. The head of the Nanomaterial Division of the Czech Advanced Technology Research Institute and part of the Polak University Olomak Mikhail Otiepka explained that replacing activated carbon with a novel graphene derivative can create supercapacitors capable of storing comparable energy to a typical battery while maintaining superior and rapid charging capability. Graphene is a tightly packed thin layer of pure carbon bonded in a hexagonal honeycomb lattice. Now, because it's in endowed with an abundance of astonishing traits from being the best-known conductor and the thinnest known compound, it's also widely regarded as a wonder material, as reported by Graphene Info. Moreover, it also has amazing light absorption traits and strength. It's even considered ecologically friendly and thus sustainable. Otiepko was attracted to the material in the first place due to these traits. He designed new functional materials derived from graphene in a previous project, which was supported by the European Research Council, and one of which showed very promising results in labs. Otiepka aimed to verify its utilization in energy storage devices and to upscale the material's synthesis from milligrams to kilos. He remarked that they prepare and test rather small samples that are often quantities of less than a gram in laboratory settings. Commercial partners need orders of a larger magnitude of quantities at least more than half a kilogram to assemble device prototypes, however, especially as the synthesis requires one chemical to be used as an airbag propeller. Scaling up from small to large quantities proved more challenging than expected. Otiepka added that initially, it was quite hard to find a company willing to collaborate on such a potentially explosive project. Allowing Otepka to confirm that it is possible to synthesize such quantities, the project found a company that managed the synthesis, ultimately confirming that the material still exhibits the required properties under these conditions and volumes. Not only has it also opened the door to supercapacitor devices in further evolution of the project, this finding allows him to further optimize the synthesis of graphene supercapacitors. He concluded that they are now currently working to transform these new materials materials into devices that contribute to solving the ever-changing demand for sustainable, stable, and cheap energy. Otiepka and his team aren't the only ones to be trailblazing in this domain. Several researchers are currently collaborating with several companies, as well as universities, to create supercapacitor prototypes that are solely graphene-based. A team working with Professor Roland Fischer of Inorganic and Metalorganic Chemistry at the Technical University Munich has developed a highly efficient supercapacitor. The basis of the energy storage device is powerful, albeit novel. While also utilizing sustainable graphene hybrid material that has comparable performance data to currently utilized batteries. Usually, accumulators that provide energy for electric devices and energy storage are associated with batteries. However, in cameras, cell phones, laptops, or vehicles, so-called supercapacitors are increasingly installed these days. To date, their lack of energy density was the one problem with supercapacitors, so Fisher's team developed the latest graphene material for supercapacitors, which is a powerful as well as sustainable graphene hybrid material for supercapacitors. Serving as the positive electrode in the energy storage device, the researchers are combining it with a proven negative electrode based on carbon and titan. The new energy storage device also performs much better than most other supercapacitors at a power density of 16 kilowatts per kilogram and does not only attain an energy density of up to 73 watt hours per kilogram, which is roughly equivalent to the energy density of a nickel material hybrid battery. But the secret of the new supercapacitor is the combination of different materials, hence being referred to as a symmetrical by chemists. The researchers utilize hybrid materials and are betting on a new strategy to overcome performance limits and standard materials. Fisher says nature is full of evolutionary optimized hybrid materials that are highly complex. Take bones and teeth as examples. Their mechanical properties, such as elasticity and hardness, were optimized through the combination of various materials by nature. The research team delved into the abstract idea of combining basic materials, which was then transferred to supercapacitors. They used the novel positive electrode as a 
basis of the storage unit with chemically modified graphene and combined it with a so-called MOF, a nanostructured material organic framework. A former guest scientist working with Roland Fisher, author Jayara Malu Kolebuyina, explained that based on the combination of the microporous MOFs, the conductive graphene acid is the high-performance capabilities of the material. On the one hand, Controllable pore sizes and a large specific surface are decisive for the performance of graphene hybrids, while on the other hand, a high electrical conductivity. Good supercapacitors require a large surface area because according to the basic principle for the storage of electrical energy, it allows for the collection of a respectively large number of charge carriers within the material. The researchers achieved the feat of linking the graphene acid with the MOFs through skillful material design, thus resulting in hybrid MOFs that are highly performant as positive electrodes in a supercapacitor and have a very large inner surface of up to 900 square meters per gram. However, to achieve a chemically stable hybrid, one needs strong chemical bonds between the components. That's not the only advantage of the new material, as the bonds are apparently the same as those between amino acids in proteins. According to Fisher, they have in fact connected the graphene acid with an MOF amino acid, which creates a type of peptide bond. In terms of long-term sustainability, the stable connection between the nanostructured components has huge advantages because the more stable the bonds, without significant performance impairment, the more charging and discharging cycles are possible. The new cell developed by the TUM researchers retains close to 90% capacity even after 10,000 cycles, while a classic lithium accumulator has a useful life of around 5,000 cycles in comparison. Fisher emphasizes how important it was for the researchers to control themselves when it came to the development of the new supercapacitor in terms of the unfettered international cooperation. Jayaramulu Kolebuyina built the team accordingly, and he was a guest scientist from India invited by the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, and who by now is the head of the chemistry department at the newly established Indian Institute of Technology in Jammu. Furthermore, Fisher reported that the team also networked with battery research experts in Barcelona, as well as graphene derivative experts from the Czech Republic as well as electrochemistry. Moreover, they have integrated partners from the USA and Australia. According to him, this wonderful international cooperation promises much for the future of sustainable energy development, such as graphene supercapacitors. Internationally, researchers have been coming together to develop the most sustainable, stable, and cheap version of a graphene derivative that could be used for these supercapacitors to officially replace lithium-ion batteries for good. While they have taken definitive measures in their research and achieved quite the accurate there's still a long way to go in terms of scaling and wide-level manufacturing of these supercharged energy storage devices. Researchers such as Otyapka and Fisher are making massive progress in this domain. Let us know your thoughts on this new wave of energy solutions in the comments below.